Hi and welcome back to the shed. Right, uh, today it's uh, just a question of getting on with the gearbox. Um, need to put the stub axles back onto it and then put the brake drums and front brake assemblies on it. The unit will then be reasonably complete and uh, I can then use it to uh, start to rebuild the car, putting the gearbox in, engine in, this sort of stuff when it comes to that point. Um, so it's one more step down. Um, there are some questions there with the actual gearbox. Um, I might need a new one. Uh, we'll see how that works out, but won't really know that sort of thing until I can get it in the car and uh, see if it works or not. And if it does, it does. If it doesn't, well, new gearbox. Well, I have... No, I think the other one is broken, so if this doesn't work, then it'll be a new gearbox. But that's way in the future, so I'm not even going to worry about that just yet. So today, let's get on with the gearbox and get it done. Right, time to put the stub axles back onto the gearbox. Now, I'm unconvinced that um, I don't have an oil leak on at least one of these, um, but I don't have the tools and I can't find the 29mm box spanner um, I need to get the uh, stub axles apart. There's a nut down there which is peened in place um, and I just can't get anything in there to fit it. Um, I do get it with a 29mm box spanner, but I can't get it down there. Um, if I could get the middle of the box spanner uh, reamed out, maybe it would go on, but as it is, it, it is. Um, there's a bit of play on the gearbox shaft here, but I'm assuming some play is normal. So again, I'm not sure how that is going to work, and I don't really even know much about this gearbox, so the gearbox might need rebuilding anyway. So if it all needs rebuilding, and I'm suspecting that I will need a new gearbox at some point, then all of these things can be sorted then by the person who rebuilds it, um, which probably won't be me, um, but we'll see. So, now the stub axles have shims in them, so you need to make sure you have the right sh number of shims in the right size, and of course put the right stub axle back in the right place. Fortunately, the latter is relatively easy because there's a hole here um, for the handbrake cable to go on. Now, the handbrake cable was coming in from the back of the car, which is in that direction because this is the engine, the engine sits at the front, the gearbox behind it is the rear gearbox mounts. So, this entry point which sits on the back here, like that, is where the cable comes in, which tells me that this indeed is the one for this side, because with it orientated that way around, it fits in. Now, the, now, the other thing to watch out for is that uh, there is an oil drain hole here in the bottom of the casting. Um, theory being that any oil that gets down into the uh, seal um, will drain out of here rather than find its way through the seal and out into the actual drum. So I just want to check that's actually clear. Right, so that's clear. Uh, it air blows through that so that goes down um, now there are these are arranged three studs three studs not arranged circularly so we know that will go in that way um, and uh, the splines will align in there but first I've just we need to put the gasket in I've just uh, um, Put some goop on that, on the actual gasket, so let's just make sure we're all
so bowl down. Right, so making sure the plate is aligned this way round. So handbrake cable goes in at the bottom. Wheel uh, slave cylinder goes at the top. All right, star washer and nut. and torque up all the nuts. So, same process for the other side. Make sure we have all of the shims in place, the right ones for the right side and the right number.
Thank you.